A former news anchor in northeastern Pennsylvania is ready to share her story. She was forced to share a devastating personal experience live on the air. Marissa Burke has written a book about what she went through and how she and her daughters are moving forward from those dark days. WFMZ's Hannah O'Reilly has more. Marisa Burke, a top-rated news anchor in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, had her fair share of criminal cases come across her desk. But the day the top story was about her husband, it would, as she put it, change the trajectory of her life forever. We would go to social events. He, people would just gravitate to him because he, he, that's the way he was. He was just charming and handsome and funny. I fell in love with his sense of humor. Mark Candle was a well-respected educator in the Scranton area, but that respect slowly began to fade. What started as a 17-year-old blaming Candle for serving him alcohol grew to a full-blown federal investigation and began trickling into Burke's newsroom. Many a night, it was the lead story. Burke said sitting at the desk next to a fellow anchor, having to hear the charges read on air out loud was devastating. And I, I would have to walk into that newsroom again and, and see the, the expressions on the faces of, of my colleagues and co-workers. As years went on and details came out, Candle was eventually charged by the U.S. District Court with using a cell phone to solicit sex from a minor. He was sentenced to over 14 years in prison. Burke and her two daughters were left with not only a broken home, but years of trauma to heal from, which eventually pushed her to write the book, Just Checking Scores. Writing my story helped me get over that anger and betrayal and deceit. Now, Burke is in a new chapter of life, traveling on a book tour and sharing her story with the hopes of resonating with readers all over. It has touched a lot of people. Hannah O'Reilly, 69 News.